in this animation I will be explaining to you uh, what happens in a 2D collision so this is very important to us because uh, we are going to learn about uh, the kinetic theory of gases in which the gas molecules undergo elastic collisions and all the molecules will be identical molecules that is they have the same mass so that's why in this simulation we begin with both the spheres having the same mass so m1 is this blue sphere m2 is this green sphere both have mass of one unit and now we will see what happens when they collide with different velocities so let's take the case where the m1 is at rest and the green ball hits it with some velocity so now what do you expect will happen so it, the green ball will come go hit it with some velocity and then what do you expect will the velocity of the green ball become half and will the blue ball get half the velocity is it what will happen or will all the velocity of the green ball get transferred to the blue ball and the blue ball moves with that same velocity as the green ball and the green ball comes to rest what happens so let's see so I have paused it when it collided so now you see that this arrow which shows the velocity of the balls has transferred from the green ball to the blue ball so the entire velocity of the green ball is transferred to the blue ball because both the balls are of same mass so this is what happens in collision of equal masses if the collision happens in the in the line of impact that is if the direction of collision is in the same is the same as the direction of the line joining the two centers of the masses then the velocity will just get transferred from one mass to the other so now it goes then it hits the wall and comes back now it will again transfer the velocity from the blue ball to the green ball like this is it clear like this it will go on forever it will never stop because it is perfectly elastic collision so there is no loss of energy during the collision due to either heat or sound it will go on forever okay now what we will do is we will see what happens when the collision is at an angle so i lift the green ball so that now when it next time it hits the blue ball it will hit at an angle so did you see what happened so when they hit at an angle the directions of the velocities after collision changes so let us see what exactly happens during that time so here this long line this is the uh, velocity vector of the green ball before it hit the blue ball and this is the velocity vector of the blue ball before it hit the green ball now whenever the balls hit you have to uh, join the centers of both the balls so that is given by the direction of these red lines the red lines okay so you join the center of the two balls and along that line that is called as the line of impact along that line you find the component of the velocities so the component of velocity of the green ball along this line is this red line the red arrow and the component along the line of impact for the blue ball is this small red line okay so now again you have to treat it like the earlier case they are hitting each other with some velocity so the velocities will get interchanged so now after collision this velocity will be transferred to the green ball and this velocity will be transferred to the blue ball and the components of velocity perpendicular to the line of impact will not be affected by it so it will remain the same so now to find the new uh, direction of velocity we have to add up these 
exchanged components to get the resultant vector. Let us see how it happens. See, so now the velocities have been exchanged, and if you draw the resultant of those new components, this is the direction in which the green ball will move after collision, and this is the direction in which the blue ball will move after collision. So let us see. Isn't it? Now is it clear? So like this, in a 2D collision, the velocities will get transferred and distributed among the X and Y components in different ways. Okay, but the total kinetic energy of both the balls, the sum of the kinetic energies of both the balls will always be constant as long as the collisions are elastic. But how much energy is present in each ball? That keeps changing. Okay. See. So the actual energy. So for example, now you can see that this blue ball has very less velocity compared to the green ball. So the kinetic energy of the blue ball will be less than the kinetic energy of the green ball. But the total kinetic energy will be the same as when it started. So when it first started, the blue ball was at rest and the green ball only had all the velocity. So the blue ball had zero kinetic energy and the green ball had all the energy. But after they start colliding, the energy gets distributed between these two balls. So if you have Avogadro number of such balls colliding with among themselves, if they all start with the same constant velocity, their, their ve velocities will get distributed among the molecules in such a way that the energy gets distributed so that each molecule will no longer have the same energy some will have less energy some will have more energy so this distribution of energies among a lot of part, uh, particles is given by this Maxwell Boltzmann distribution curve which we will see in the next time